built this car from a shell that was ready for the, literally for the scrap heap. Now we're driving it. We're gonna drive it probably six or 700 miles into Kansas. And we're gonna donate it to a good cause. And you'll be along for the ride. We've been doing this program now for four years, and we've yet to find a judge. Now tell me this is not a real judge. It's a real judge. It's a real judge. Yep. Oh, crap. All right, so this building looks pretty appetizing here. Yeah, you're not going to believe this one. All right, we've got to go now, boys. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Well, it'd be a shame to be in Amarillo, Texas and not look at some of the most famous barn finds in the world. That's Cadillac Ranch. And those are vintage Cadillacs stuck nose first in the ground and it's an artistic installation where people are encouraged to bring spray cans and spray their own paint schemes on those cars, so the paint is about an inch thick. It's, it's like an automotive version of Stonehenge. Where to go? So we're up here on the Panhandle, Amarillo. Uh, so if we take 87, continue on the same road we're on, 287 and 87, we'll be into Oklahoma, probably in how long? Let's see. Two hours will be in Oklahoma, and maybe we'll find some old metal between here and there. It's day two of our Texas road trip, and uh, yesterday, I mean, we didn't leave early, we left late. It was a Sunday. We put a lot of miles on this car, 300 miles, trouble free. And we found a couple of amazing barn finds. So today it's overcast, it's cold. Yesterday was hot. It's windy, but we're hoping for the same success today. Truck and Chevy truck. Okay, well, we found an old car at a repair shop. And it, obviously the owners are probably enthusiasts because they have a hot couple of pickups here. So we're going to find out about that 59 Chevy. Your name is Roy. Roy Taylor? Roy. Roy. Yes, Roy Taylor. And Josh is your son? Yes. Nice. Okay. TNT Automotive. Okay, well we just happened to be cruising up and down roads and boing, I, I saw that 59 Chevy over there. I said, okay, there's an old car. Uh, so let's go, let's go take a look at that car. So this is a, I mean, a two-door hardtop in Palo. This is a... Yes. It looks short. Why does it look short? It's not the short one, it's a long one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 59, how long have you had this car? I've had this car for seven years. Uh huh. I intend to put a Chevrolet 2002 5.3 in it to give LS? it a little. No, not an LS. Just no? give it a little modern fuel injected run. Mm -hmm. And I mean, does it have a motor now? Yeah, it's got a 348. A 348, no yeah. kidding. Oh, that's a pretty rare baby. Well, that's what they say. 
It still runs. You don't want to keep a 348 in there? I'm debating on it. I really don't know what to That's do. That's like the baby brother to a 409. Yes. Isn't that something? And it still runs? Yeah. Wow. You start up right now? I wouldn't start up now. i got to put, this is my gas can that I <laughs> run it off. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I didn't want to run through the old factory tank. Yep. So I did just you... got that in there just to get it back and forth. And did around. you buy this car locally? It was in a town called Goodwell, just 10 miles west of here. It had been a, in a field for about 14 years out in the wide open. And my friend called me and he wanted to know if I wanted to buy it. I told him, yeah, I'll take it. So this car was originally green? Yeah, seafoam green. All right, so Oklahoma, looks like maybe 84, maybe? 1984. Did you get yeah. a title with it? I did. Oh, wow, you're lucky. How long you was figured it was sitting in a field? I would say 15 years, out in the open. That's a shame. Yeah. That's a shame. Wow. I got it. It survived a hailstorm. The only dent it got was the windshield over there. Yeah, so that. So in other words, this went through a hailstorm. Yeah, you can't even tell that it got hit. I think they made better metal back there. It's very solid. Man. Very good car. Yeah. So it's automatic. You keep it automatic? Yes. I want a luxury ride, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that's a sweetheart right there. We don't find many of these. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yep. Wow. It's a boat. Right, I can show you, so you 50, the 64. It's in the shop there. Oh, it's here? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's take a look at it. Okay. Let's go. See, one leads to another. Oh, look at this. It's sweet. You should have let me up the tire on this one. Nah, I like it like that. That's real. Whoop, two door hard top. That's okay. How long two have you had this? One? I've had this one for about 25 years. So there's a driver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got a four speed in it. Yeah, four on the floor. Four, so is this a 327? It had the 327 in it. I took it out and put a 350 Corvette motor in it. So is this a local car? You bought it locally? Yes. It came from Kansas, but the guy, the guy that bought it in Kansas what lives here yeah, yeah yeah and i bought it from him and so how did you find out about this car i'm always curious about that well he's a body shop guy and he was going to fix it up himself and he ran out of time so luckily he sold it to me yeah so you drive us but not very often i bet yeah oh do you oh huh. was it a factory four-speed car yes really four on the floor with posi track rear end from the factory mm -hmm. man what'd you pay 25 years ago Fifteen hundred dollars. Wow. Same, same with that one. Fifteen hundred bucks. Can I sit in it? Sure. It was originally blue. It was blue, really. Mm -hmm. Can't see the first digit. Maybe sixty-seven thousand. Does that sound right? That's that's about right. Six, seven thousand miles. So it's got a Muncie four-speed. So the tack is down here. And you got two accessory gauges. You still have the radio? No, I don't. Did you have this redone? No, it's a reproduction. That's a nice car. It's getting there. Yep. I've had fun with it. So is this a, a stock engine? No. You modified it? I did. 64, this is the first year Chevelle. Right. Malibu. Malibu. Huh, so what, tell me what you've done to the motor. Uh, boarded 30 over, got some uh, flat top pistons, roller rockers. And that's been about probably 20 years ago. I just drive this one for fun. Roy, I know we popped in the middle of the day. We probably <laughs> took you away from a tune-up. That's okay. Thanks so much for letting you us bet. come here. Glad to be here. craziest thing about barn fun hunting. We went to a repair shop over on the other side of town and he scratched his head, scratched his head, and ah, I don't, I can't think of any old cars around. I really can't. He said, but probably an hour after you leave, I'll think of them. So we leave and 10 minutes later he calls. He says, I forgot all about it. I got an old Pontiac in my building. Come on back. I think you'll like it. 
This could have been like, you know, a scene from half a century ago. Okay. Let's take a look what this Pontiac looks like. We're back. So you didn't have to go very far to think about a car, huh? It's like, no, I went <laughs> back there to dump that oil out. And I said, well, there's one. I forgot all about that it's one. It's funny how there. they sneak up on you. Well, they've been there so long. I thought so your name is? Clinton. Clinton? That's your first name? Mm -hmm. Clinton. Well, I'm Tom. That's my Tom, first name. Nice to meet you. And uh, so we were here an hour ago, left, because Clinton couldn't think of a car. He said, but you're going to leave. I'm going to think of one. And we get a mile away, we find out Clinton's got a car here. So let's see what she got back here. Oh, look at this. This is a 40... 49 maybe? 48? 48, I think. Man. Pontiac straight eight. What a sweet body style. It kind of makes you think of Bonnie and Clyde, don't it? Man. So it's got 56 plates on there. Is that the last time it was on the road? The last time it was on the road. Holy mackerel. And has it been sitting indoors ever since? It has been here at least 15 years that I know of. Man. So this is your shop, you rent it, and this... And this belongs to the owner, yeah. Of this, oh, really? The landlord? Yeah. I mean, look at how complete this car is. All the trims on there, hubcaps. So that side's been clobbered a little bit, but this side's clean. Still has the, the hood ornament. Silver streak. Streak. Look, and look at the sun visor. This was a loaded car, two-tone paint job, eight-cylinder motor. Deluxe hubcaps. And so, ha did he buy it new or what, do you know? As far as I know, it belonged to his mother. Wow. Now, the owner is 90-some years old. Your landlord is? Yeah. So, uh, it's quite possible. That they bought it new. That they bought it new. Look at the paint inside the door jams. You can see the color that this once was. That's, uh, wow. You got any compounds in a rag? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> I got a whole bunch back there. How much you need? I, I can call the parts to store. <laughs> so look at this has got, I mean, everything is deluxe on this car. Big radio, big clock. I'm trying to see the mileage on here. This is seven something. So I'd say 70 something thousand miles. That would be a lot of miles for this model of car. So this would be 60. Let's say it's a 49 be 70 years old right now man and this is such a sweet design in the back here and those old great old hot rod tail lights all, all the 32 fours put those tail lights on their cars that's a big old trunk you could hide a lot of people going to the movie drive in movies in there you sure could <laughs> so this car has been here since your brand of the shop since I've been in the shop, since I went to work for them in 2005, this car was here. Do you think it's for sale? There have been several people ask, and he's <clears throat> asked me to get it running. I bet it wouldn't take much. Might not, but it takes some time. Yeah. You know, it'd be a great thing to do. It's too bad this fender's crashed up, but if you were able to take these dents out of here, you could clean this car up the way it is. You know, that wagon we're driving it kind of look like this. It could be cleaned up pretty darn nice. This would be a hard thing to match, though, paint-wise. It, uh, but the metal in these old cars is, <laughs> is a lot easier to bring back to life. Yeah, it, this is metal. This is <laughs> but I understand those straight eights were just about as smooth as engine running. Yep. And I don't know that I've ever heard one run, so I should probably ought to get around and get this one going. I pray that nobody hot rides this thing, you know. Somebody paid a lot of money for this car. You know, and I don't think these actually come out with white wall tires on them. I think they were black wall tires. Yeah, probably. Them. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, thank you, sir. Silver eight streak now. Man. So we found cars in Oklahoma. One more state checked off. We're heading towards Liberal, Kansas right now. We're 20 miles away. We'll probably stay there tonight and still looking for cars in Kansas tomorrow. We'll see you in the next episode.
cars and cannons. 